Hey, bro, what's up? I'm pretty sure you and I can both agree that if we seen two people raw dogging in a middle school parking lot, we'd be like, oh my God, you pedos. Now, the sad reality is millions of children are exposed to pornography every single day, and you might relate to that. I myself was exposed at eight years old. Now, no, it wasn't nothing like my creepy uncle Chester. It's like, hey, kid, come here. You want to see something cool? You want a demonstration? It was nothing like that. I was flipping through my parents' all-access cable pass when I came across the channel 592, aka the Playboy channel. Never in my life did I feel this rush of adrenaline like that. My heart was pounding. My hands were shaking. My one inch or pincher had never stood up that fast before. It was like, dude, I could not control myself. I was scrambling for the controller, trying to change it back to Disney before my parents walked in and i memorized that channel and i was like mm, i'm coming back for you later but i had no idea that that was the beginning of a very bad habit and even more shocking was i had no idea how to fap i didn't know what jerking off was and that was until the age of 16 when i first learned how to fap and it was the most unenjoyable un appealing painful experience in my life and you may say well you did it wrong you probably broke your dick or you didn't use butter or hand sanitizer or whatever you used no i did everything right it's just the sensations and the overwhelming feelings that you get when you finish for the first time was so painful it went up my uh, uh, abdomen into my back of my neck I was spasming in the bathroom against the wall. I was like, oh, oh, I couldn't catch my breath. Dude. Like, Jesus Christ. And I swore off of that for the rest of my life. That was alive for more than 100 times. But even though that I had no idea about NoFap or the anti-porn movement, I still felt something was wrong. Something in the back of my mind was telling me, this is not good. I felt drained. I felt disappointed in myself. I felt shame. And I said, hmm, this is normal. I heard and I hear about it all the time. Like, oh, jerk off or it's natural or whatever they say about it. But yet there was something that did not sit right with me. I knew it was off. I knew that there was something not normal here. And I wasn't fond of it. Even though I continue to indulge in pornography and fapping, I still did not like the whole concept around it. And that only increased when one day I was gaming. I'm sitting there playing Destiny, Titan smashing everybody around me. When I get a notification popping up on the side of my screen, and I click it, and it's a group chat. It says, hey, check this out. I'm like, hmm. So when I go into the group chat, I am spammed with so much pornography. I'm like, what the actual fuck? But as I'm leaving, I noticed where the names, the gamer tags pop up, I see two gamer tags and those two gamer tags are kids that i have played with before they were around 11 and 12. Now, sounds weird you know why are you playing with kids bro like, fuck dude i don't know it was like minecraft it was like a quick game either way there's two kids in here and i'm like bro what the fuck so i message the main guy that sent the pornography and i'm like hey bro there's kids in here don't be doing that that ain't cool and he kindly tells me to fuck off and stop being a prude and then kick me from the chat. Even though I'm, I'm kicked out, right? I'm blocked or whatever. I report it. But there's still kids in there. I'm like, bro, this is so not cool. Even though I was indulging. It's like a drug addict. Not that I'm a drug addict. But still, it's like, I know the side effects. And I know how bad it is. I don't want kids to be exposed to that. And that's when I discovered r slash nofap. Nofap was a big eye opener to me. Because I said, well, look at all these benefits. That do not play out like that bro like do not believe the hype and i'm not saying i'm not undermining no fat you should do no fat i like no fat however the benefits of you're going to gain all this confidence and women will just throw themselves at you and like bend over every time you walk by and make eye contact with you at the same time it doesn't make any sense at all the there was some like i run faster and there's like i like, I know some of them are kids. Like, I levitated. Okay, like, yeah, okay, I get that's a joke. But some people were being serious. Like, my whole life has gotten better. And I'm so glad. If you believe that, more power to you. Right? Maybe it just didn't work for me. But there were some benefits that I just did not see. There are benefits to it. But they're not as drastic as that they say that Reddit says that they are. 
right? But I still said, I said, I will venture on and I will do no fab. Day two, every single time I lost, <laughs> I could only make it to day two on my streak. And this is back when I thought streaks matter. Now, it's not about the streak. It's about just not doing it. But every single time, and bro, I had just discovered the infamous thick as fuck Mia Melkova, which did not help me whatsoever. She gave me the urge to purge, right? She destroyed my streaks because I pretended it was her cheeks, dude. Like every single time. I just could not control myself with that either. I was like, look, I just, every time I see your name pop up on my search list, dude, I was like, start clicking. So I was like, hey, something, something's wrong here. I cannot stop it. I can't break the cycle. What do I need to do? So I started thinking, I said, hmm, what's stopping me in the first place? The pornography. I try to stop. I go to FAP. I watch pornography. Same thing. It's a cycle. I said, hmm, I'll make a small adjustment. Instead of watching porn, I'm just going to cut the porn out entirely and just stick to fapping, which this may be controversial to the no fappers. However, I don't think fapping is anywhere near as bad as porn. Here's why. Okay. Because it's been around for millions of years, bro. Your great, 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 great monkey uncle grandpa was jacking it in the trees, right? Onto the unexpecting bystanders below. It's been around for so long, right? It's not, it didn't kill us off. I don't say you should do it. I'm not advocating for it. But the real problem here, like the only issue, or excuse me, there are a lot of issues with fapping, but they're not as bad as issues with porn. When you jerk off, I was watching a video. When you, <laughs> hold on, that came out wrong. I was watching a video on fapping. And the thing is, when you jerk off, your brain releases prolact prolactin. Too much prolactin buildup can cause gynecomastia, which means you develop man titties, right? Big, juicy man titties. You do not want big, juicy man titties. You want your significant other, your girlfriend, your wife to have big, juicy man to be <laughs> You want her to have the big, juicy titties, okay? Now, unless you're into it, go ahead grow all that, you know, bo bosoms that you want. However, pornography is a different story. With porn, it damages your dopamine receptors, right? So the little things in life are no longer as enjoyable to you as they once were, right? Let's say you enjoy just sitting outside. You end up fapping for so for an extended amount of time. Now you're going to need to like walk around, you know, you can't sit in one place. And then sometime after that, maybe you're going to need to talk to somebody. And then after that, you need to have your phone with you. And the enjoyment needs to be increased every single time. And you may say, no, that sounds like a movie. No, bro, it's true. If you don't believe me, you can just look it up and it will tell you like exactly the downsides of pornography. Like it distorts our view, it distorts our reality of intimate relationships and love into this disgusting monster, this Frankenstein of emotions, dude. <laughs> And on top of that's not even the worst part. And that's like one thing. I'm not going to go through all of them. But even worse than that is that there are kids and like young teenagers being sex trafficked on Pornhub. Or at least like the content on there. There was a it was like a lawsuit. It was a big thing like a year ago. You can go check it out. That a lot of content was erased from Pornhub because they it featured underage participants, dude, or underage victims. It was it was disgusting and it's terrible. And hey, bro, after some time that I quit pornography, I eventually quit fapping. Now, of course, everybody breaks their streak. I don't think fapping is the end all be all. Like if you touch yourself, oh, it's a sin. You're going straight to hell. No, it's nothing like that. It doesn't reset all your progress after you fap one time, you know, or, or once in a great while. Fine. I'm not advocating for it. I'm just saying, hey, if you do it, whatever. When it comes to porn, though, I do think that everyone should abstain from that. Stay away from that shit because that will mess you up mentally. And it is a biggest deal. It is a big deal than people make it out to be. So, bro, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day and jerk that like button off for me.